morning. Um, this morning I'm on uh, Ponienti Beach, which is the other side of the old town. Um, I'm going to take you down the beach and uh, up around, have a look at some, you know, bars and restaurants, and we'll see what goes on. Uh, so let's get going. But first of all, I'm going for some breakfast to the refuel. I'll show you where it is. Come from the top of the town and you turn around some lovely flower bed there. You come to uh, the birdie park as they call it. But um, I'm going for some breakfast and this is one of the top four places that I've had breakfast in in Benidorm. Um, corner bar's good, very good. Um, Vincent's in the old town, that's very good. Scooters are everywhere. And, um, and the um, halfway house, that's a good breakfast there as well. Um, this is only a stone throw from Birdie Beach. Um, and here you've got Gusto's. Now, this is a real nice place to eat at night. Gusto's, a uh, Dutch guy owns it called Vincent. He knows me well. We go in regular. Um, but there's nothing in here for kids. You know, like fish fingers, sausage roll, uh, sausage, sausage and stuff like that. Uh, kiddies meals, it's all Mediterranean meals. But, uh, this is where I'm going for breakfast. Now, this is called the dining room, and that's linked with the refuel place restaurant here. So you order a breakfast there. I'm going on. I'm going onto the terrace to have a breakfast now. Some seats. So I'll let you know what the breakfast is like. Catch you up later on Pontai Beach. Good breakfast. Really, really nice, tasty. Uh, there was everything about it. At least 10 out of 10, I've got a gift for that. Um, never had a bad, bad breakfast there yet. So that's the refuel, and it's top of Birdie Park. So there is some nice eating places in uh, Benidorm. So now we're coming up to the Birdie Park again, which is the... just at the start of the on the empty beach that's up to the castle there which we'll go up another time it's here now I'm going up towards the port I'll get some good views up here this little footpath Lovely sound of the waves hitting the rocks. Yeah. These are some of the boats. Absolutely beautiful day here now. It's reaching 26 degrees. That was the last one of the phone. That's <clears throat> the boat trips over here 
they go to uh, Kelpie, Alicante. And of course they go over to the Peacock Island over there in the distance. So that's where they all get the boat to um, Peacock Island at the back of me. There's a family going on. Waiting for the boat coming in. So this is the Poniente side of Benidorm. It's very quiet, beautiful views again. Up to where uh, people buy seeds from a little van over there, where they used to be here and they feed the birds so a little waterfall there fountain the birds having a bit of a, a drink out of it let's get a closer look A lot of the elderly come along here just to um, chill out along the front, the walking stick gang. The colours of the footpath are all blue. Um, also, if you're in Benidorm, it's a little kiddies area here where the swings, as you can see. Seesaws. There's a seesaw over there. Looks like they're out of action for the minute. They're taped off by the council, but they will be open again soon. I can assure you that. So over on the beach a few locals here playing football when they get the ball back it's a very quiet side of any uh, on this Plenty of people out this morning for the early morning stroll. Even I'm out early um, to have a breakfast like that. I need to walk it off. It's that busy. Can't even get through here for people. All heading off to the shop. Yeah. Very Spanish this side. Very quiet. And again they've got every few yards they've got a kiddies play area. 
this is just to remind you Ponienti Beach a lot of the British say Pontai Beach for short here they've got uh, people exercising <laughs> toilets there more more things for exercising and don't forget you've got across the road there's plenty of shops and bars where you can stop off for a, a drink more exercise machines here oh we've gone to a red footpath now and coming into yellow we'll stop off and take a look at the beach there's quite a lot of people down on that beach for this morning pretty early that's the port over there uh, over there you might see in the distance there's a, a big boat that's where you get it to go on to the um, Peacock Island over there everyone knows Peacock Island so Back on the footpath. Very bright yellow. Some sort of sculpture there with flowers. I don't know what that's about. I don't read Spanish. There is a little plaque there. Here we go again. I always meet one of these on the travels. I'm going to have to turn it off now, I think. Because he's going to start. Let's have a look at what's going on down here. There's the old guys here playing bowls. We've seen this the other day in um, Albia. Carry on. The man with the blower has gone up ahead. Uh, yeah, there's uh, more shops and bars over there if you want to stop off and have a coffee or a pint, whatever. Uh, he's here again. So that'll uh, I'll have to stop. Come back and get us lined up for the people that's gone down to the beach. It's really peaceful this side. It's slowed down with the traffic of people now. There's a, a wider footpath and let's have a look. This is the point where it goes uh, around in like a half moon. It's a lovely area if you're viewing. seats there if you want to take a breather a little shaded area the white dubs there fella coming up here with a pair of jeans on I don't know why he wants to wear jeans this this weather it's 23 degrees now at the moment some people. Yeah. 
I don't know if you can see over there, that's the barley. Right over there, that's the... It, it used to be, when I started coming to Benidorm, the biggest um, block in Benidorm. And they say that Elton John used to have the... used to own the top apartment. They say. But I don't know. There's another building that went up, which is further along here. I'm not going, it's too far. And they call it the M&M building. It's in the shape of an M. Uh, you might be able to see it in a distance over there near that red crane. It's quite a, quite a distance away. And they were saying that's one of the highest now. And then they did put two on the on the side of the sea over in the um, Levante, the Gemelos, I don't know how high they are, but they're two twin towers. They've gone up about five to six, seven years. I watched them get built. So we're still going down uh, on the empty beach. As the British call it, Pantai Beach. There's this. Restaurant over there that tells you the name. Pony MT Beach. A lot of walkers out this morning as well with the headphones on just getting the steps in alley hop see them everywhere everywhere you go no matter where you go Altea Alicante Albia Benidorm they're just all over the place now in my Benidorm video I said the chairs was five euros I can see a sign there now saying they are six, and the umbrella is six. So if there's two of you, 18 euros a day. Whew, that's a lot. No wonder the Spanish bring little chairs and an umbrella. They're not daft, they're not paying out that sort of money. Uh, your beat shops across the road here hats lilos cafe bars it's really lovely to walk along here this fella coming up here skating I wish I could do that I'd rip me two bloody ankles look at that he can skate Ambulance with flashing lights on. He's uh, and she loves herself, doesn't she? Well, why would you get dolled up to go out for a walk in the morning on the beach? You know, it's just vests and shorts, or blouse and bikini or whatever but dress and earrings I don't understand it and uh, see where the tractor's been on the sand super macado
I'm not sure if that's new, I can't remember seeing that before. And I do come up this way a lot. People are stopping off for a breather under the shade. I don't blame them, it's going to be rising to 30 degrees today. And uh, you can tell it's going that way because it's hitting my back. My back is very hot at the moment. So it'll be hitting my face going back. Nice little sculpture there on the roundabout. Whatever it is, looks like something out of Doctor Who. We're back on the the red brick road. More locals down here playing like netball. Let's take a look. Oh, they're going for drinks. Must be half time. Oh, we'll move on. Some nice little greenery and shrubbery there. spotlessly clean this side it's clean on the other side Levante but uh, it's really clean on this side I'd like to see how many steps I've got in now, but I'm filming and I wouldn't be able to see me watch anyway with the sun belting down on it. I wouldn't have an idea. Still more shops cafes, bars over that side. Oh, I've come on the wrong red road here. I should be up there, shouldn't I? I'll have to shortcut up here. I'm back up now. I don't know what's down here. Is it a shortcut down to the beach? It seems to be going down there. I think it is. Way right down to the beach. Under the bridge. Nice bit of a design that.
These are the two swans that uh, everybody goes on about. Let's have a look at them. I'll uh, go down here a little bit and get a closer shot, see if I can get them in. <sighs> Bloody flies landing on my hand and I'm trying to film. No respect. going against the sun here this way. There's a, a better shot of them now. There's a nice sh sh shrubbed area again. And we've got another sculpture here. Looks like a worm with a holding a ball or something. Let's move on. There's quite a few sculptures around here. You know what's annoying me now? The flies are coming onto me every minute. They're landing on my hand and my arm. It's like they know I'm easy wound up and they're, they're really annoying me. And you don't get this further back, but it just seems to start around here. There's another sculpture of it's like a woman again on a boat, something with a ball. Colours of the footpath, love. Yeah. This is England now, they'd be chewing gum and cigarette books all over it. It's not too bad at all. It's been down a long time with this. Turned into a green footpath now. Sculptures. <laughs> There's a ball in every one of them, and it's a woman. So Street cleaners out. Good on them, they're keeping the place clean. Another sculpture here. Now, 
over here on the beach there's a lot of nets there's a netted area I don't know what it's for can you see that it's like they pull the nets over on string and they're all netted in or the volleyball pitches or the doing exercises down here I think the guy over there with the two wheels is a physio he's got them all doing neck movements maybe I should come down and join them since I was in a an accident not long ago and I got whiplash still got it to the day <clears throat> just look at that beach now how full it is Telling them all something. Look at that beach now. Packed. I think he's taking the mic in his home. He's probably charging them all about a euro each to do exercises. He hasn't a clue what he's going on about. <laughs> Give us a little note in the comment box. Tell us what it is. It's obviously for some sort of a netball team, football team or something. And one more sculpture and this ends the uh, lovely colourful footpaths uh, you drop down to the beach if I remember rightly this little road on my right coming down I'm sure there used to be a little bridge under there, so small. Uh, I'm sure it was either, it's either dead tiny and you can only get one car or something through but I might have my bearings wrong but I thought there was. Yeah, it is that road. It's closed now. It's Maybe it's not in use no more. I do remember years ago. That was the little road there. Cars that used to actually go under that. So, I'll make my way back up now and we'll call it off. That's where the M&M &M building is. You can just about see it through the... Uh, you can see it up there now with a, like a ice cream cone stuck in the middle of it. Um, last time I was here, well over the years, they reckon it's very hard to fill. It's, I don't know whether it's expensive or nobody just wants it, but um, they built it and they were struggling to fill it so
Right then, uh, if you like the video that I've done today, give us a like, subscribe, let us know what you think, and um, I'll see you later. I'm off to Mercadona now to do a little bit of shopping, and I'll make my way back down to Levante Beach. So I'll see you all later. A fancy fish and chips this evening, so I've come to raise two. two. Is it raised two? Um, just off the Avenida Mediterranea, and um, I'm going to go in to get some fish and chips because they close at seven o'clock. So I have to go in early. That's why it's still bright out here. So let's go in and see what the fish and chips are like. This is raised chippy, which a lot of people rave about. The crispy batter, as you can see. I just got fish and chips. I didn't want the mushy peas. And um, you can get the fish is really big, so let's see how nice it is. I'll let you know later. That's raised chippy, and I just had fish and chips, no mushy peas, and it was really nice. And um, I'm at that 11 out of 10. They were lovely. So uh, the people were right what they say about raised too.